What's up y'all? It's your boy Charlie coming at y'all with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my wonderful barbecue chicken pizza from scratch. This recipe calls for about 12 or more individual servings of pizza depending on how you slice it. And it has plenty of chicken, about 3-4 to four pounds of chicken, lots of cheese, crust, nice and thick. And the greatest part about it, it is absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you will need to make your barbecue chicken pizza. Let's get started. You will need three to four pounds of chicken thighs, bread flour, you can also use all-purpose flour, sugar, rapid rise instant yeast, extra virgin olive oil, salted butter, two eight ounce packages, that's 16 ounces total of fresh mozzarella cheese, five ounces of Parmesan cheese. Now, since they didn't have the blocked Parmesan cheese, I have to buy the Parmesan cheese already grated and shredded. Two six ounce cans, that's 12 ounces total of Hunt's tomato paste, no salt added, vinegar, molasses, liquid smoke, and honey. For our seasonings, you need some garlic, fresh oregano, fresh basil, fresh thyme, salt, Tony Sacheray's Creole Seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole Seasoning or the Sacre Mama Cajun Seasoning. Chef Paul Perdon's Portia Magic, onion powder, and garlic powder. To bake your pizza, you will need a 16 inch in diameter pizza pan. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. We're gonna start by taking our chicken thighs and we're gonna place them into a strainer. Now for this recipe, you will need four pounds of chicken thighs that will equal to about six to eight chicken thighs. Now we're going to take our chicken thighs and we're going to rinse them off with cold water. I like to do this step as a precaution. We've taken our chicken thighs and we've placed them onto a chopping board. We're going to take some napkins and we're going to pat the chicken thighs dry. Okay, at this time, if your chicken has any type of excessive fat, you can trim that off. Now in our cast iron skillet, you can also use a 13 by 9 inch pan. Add two teaspoons of olive oil. You're going to take your hand and you're going to spread that olive oil all around the skillet or your baking pan. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We transferred our chicken thighs into a medium sized bowl. Add two teaspoons of olive oil, two teaspoons of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, and two teaspoons of Chef Paul Perdon's Portrait Magic. Take your hands and you're going to coat that olive oil and those seasonings onto the chicken. Now, we're not going to marinate the chicken or anything like that, okay? Just uh, coat it with the seasonings and olive oil and that's it. Now you're going to take your chicken thighs and you're going to add them into your cast iron skillet or if you have a 13 by 9 inch pan, you're going to add your chicken thighs in there, okay? And make sure it fits. Now let's bake this. Place this into a preheated 350 degree oven. Bake it for one hour. Now if you have larger pieces of chicken, you can increase the baking time by 15 to 20 minutes. Now while chicken is baking, let's prepare some of our ingredients. Here we have some fresh oregano. We're going to take and remove the leaves off the stem of the oregano and we're going to chop about two tablespoons of fresh oregano until it resembles coarse crumbs. Here we have some fresh basil. We're going to remove the leaves off the stem of the basil and we're going to chop about one eighth of a cup of fresh basil. Okay, here we have some fresh thyme. We're going to remove the leaves off the stem of the thyme and we're going to chop about one tablespoon of fresh thyme until it resembles coarse crumbs. And you're going to remove the outer skin off of three cloves of garlic. Okay, here we have a handheld shredder. We're going to shred 16 ounces. That's one pound of fresh mozzarella cheese. Now, if you have a food processor with the shredder attachment, you can shred your mozzarella cheese in there, which I'm going to do. Okay. And this is how it looks when we're done. It has a nice clean look versus what the handheld could do. Now let's get started with our marinara sauce. In a small bowl, add 6 ounces of tomato paste, no salt added, and 2 3rd cup of water. Take a whisk and stir all ingredients together until combined. Should be nice and thick. Exactly what we want. Okay. Now let's add some seasoning. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of finely chopped oregano, 
two teaspoons of finely chopped basil, a half a teaspoon of finely chopped thyme, and two tablespoons of sugar. Then take your whisk and stir all ingredients until combined. And just set this on the side, okay? Once done. Now let's make the barbecue sauce. In a small bowl, add six ounces of tomato paste, no salt added, two tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of liquid smoke, three tablespoons of molasses, two tablespoons of honey, three tablespoons of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, and optional, I have some cayenne pepper here, we're going to add one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Take a whisk and stir all ingredients together until combined. Now once done, you can just set this on the side. Now let's get started with our garlic butter mixture. In a food processor, add three tablespoons of melted salted butter and three whole cloves of garlic. Blend this for one minute. And this is how it looks when we're done. Now let's go ahead and check on our chicken. Chicken should be done. It's been about an hour now. We're going to remove the chicken out of the oven after baking on 350 degrees for one hour. We're going to let this cool for about 20 minutes. As you can see, the chicken thighs have shrunk. Don't worry, that is normal. Okay, we're going to start by removing the skin off of the chicken thighs. And we're going to take a fork and we're just going to remove all of the meat off the bone of the chicken thigh. Just like that. Okay. Do it the best way you can. Now we're going to take a knife and we're going to chop the chicken into strips. As you see here. We transferred our chicken pieces into a medium sized bowl. We're going to add one teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. And a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Podom's Poetry Magic. Give this a quick stir. Once done we're going to set this on the side. Now let's make our pizza crust. In our stand mixer bowl, we're going to add 3 and 1 fourth cups of bread flour. Now you can also use all purpose flour. 2 teaspoons of instant yeast. 1 tablespoon of sugar. And 2 teaspoons of salt. I'm going to give this a quick stir. Alright, in our stand mixer with the dough hook attachment, add 1 and 1 third cups of warm water. That's in between 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And to that, we're going to add one fourth cup of olive oil. Mix this on a low speed or according to your stand mixer's instructions on mixing doughs for about two minutes or until the dough no longer sticks to your hands. Now, if it doesn't, you add two tablespoons of bread flour in there and give it a mix for about one minute and you'll be good to go. Now, we're going to lightly flour the surface of our table. Add the dough on top of the table. Now we're going to knead the dough for about 10 times just to bring it together. Now we're going to form it into a ball and we're going to let the dough rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Here we have our pizza pan. We're going to add two teaspoons of olive oil. And we're going to take our hand and we're just going to spread that olive oil all around our pizza pan. It's been about 10 to 15 minutes now. We're going to take our hands and we're going to press down onto the dough, forming it into a 10 inch circle in the process. Should be the same thickness all around as well. We're going to add some bread flour on top of the dough. And we're going to take a rolling pin and we're going to roll the dough out into a 14 inch in diameter circle. Okay. Now the dough should have the same thickness all around and as you can see that dough is a little bit smaller than our pizza pan. That's exactly what we want. Now we're going to take our dough and we're going to add it into our pizza pan and we're going to, once it's in the pizza pan, we're going to take our hands and we're just going to press and stretch the dough towards the edge of the pizza pan. And make sure the dough it has the same thickness all around. Take your fingers and you're going to make an indentation onto the dough one inch going in from the edge of the pizza dough to form the pizza crust. Simple. Now we're going to take our marinara sauce and we're going to place that onto the pizza dough and we're going to spread that around as evenly as possible or until we reach the indentation marks on the pizza crust. Okay. Sprinkle one third cup of shredded Parmesan cheese on top of the marinara sauce. 
Make sure you go all around the pizza. Now for the fun part, you're going to generously add the uh, shredded chicken pieces on top of the pizza. You want to make sure that it covers every inch of the pizza. Add it all on there all at once. Okay, I ended up using nearly four pounds of chicken here. Okay, now if you have a little bit left over, you can take that and add that into a salad and you'll be good to go. Okay, we've added our barbecue sauce into a squeeze bottle. We're going to drizzle the entire contents of the barbecue sauce on top of that shredded chicken. And just go all around the pizza with this. Use all of the barbecue sauce. All right. Now at this point, we're going to preheat our oven to 450 degrees. Now for the fun part, we're going to generously sprinkle the entire contents of that one pound of shredded mozzarella cheese on top of the pizza. Now it is ready to be baked. Now as for my oven rack, I place it into the center here because I'm using a dark coated pan and those brown pretty quickly at the bottom. Place this into a preheated 450 degree oven on a middle rack and bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, look at how beautiful that turned out. Mm. Now we're going to remove our pizza out of the oven after baking on 450 degrees on a middle rack for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now remember that uh, garlic butter. Here we have a pastry brush. We're going to take a pastry brush and we're going to brush that garlic butter mixture around the crust. Okay, just go all around with that. And lastly, here we have some grated Parmesan cheese. We're going to sprinkle one tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese on top of that crust. And then from there, the pizza is ready to be served. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut you a slice. Oh man, look at how good that looks looking good already <laughs> oh man look at how good that looks mm -mm -mm. and there you have it ladies and gentlemen homemade barbecue chicken pizza made from scratch by a New Orleans native if you like my channel hit that subscribe button hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos you can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes at www.charlecookandrews.com You can also find me on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Ah, now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Oh man, pizza is one of my favorites. I must say, look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Man, oh man. Oh. This pizza is so good. It has a lot of chicken in it. You can really taste the chicken in that barbecue sauce. Really on point. It's real cheesy in that crust. Nice, light, and airy. It's really, really good. Mm. That garlic and Parmesan cheese on the end, it's real good. Mm. I'm telling y'all, try the recipe. It's on point. Absolutely delicious. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And until next time, take care and have a good one. Peace. Got me some barbecue sauce over here.